We've got a split range pair of valves connected to a single Siemens 353 controller right here. We're using this as a hand controller in manual mode, dialing the output up and down to move the valves. So right now we're going to set this to 0%, and at 0%, uh, we'll see how these valves behave in a split range fashion. The two valves we've chosen are set up for exclusive split range, which means they're both shut at 50% output. One will be open all the way when this is at zero. The other valve will be open all the way when this is at 100, but they're both shut at 50%. So right now at zero percent, one valve should be wide open. The other one should be fully shut. So looking over here, our wide open valve is this one right here. It's a rotary valve, a little butterfly or disc valve right there. It's wide open. The valve that's all the way shut is a Fisher E-body globe valve over here. And this is currently all the way shut. Okay, give me 25%, please. The 25%, we're going to see that valve over there begin to close off. Maybe hard to see in the video, but that disc is definitely closing. So it's about halfway open right now. And this valve right here is still all the way shut. Okay, give me 50%. At 50%, that valve is going to close all the way. We see it closing all the way right now. It's shut. Thank you. And this valve is still shut all the way. All right, give me 75%, please. This valve will now begin to open. We'll see it go open to the halfway position. Thank you. Meanwhile, this valve over here remains fully shut. Okay, give me 100% now. 100%. Our E-body globe valve goes all the way open, and our rotary valve is all the way shut. So there is an exclusively split-ranged valve pair running off the output, uh, the single controller.